Hello everyone and welcome back to our inventory system series. Previously we finished our inventory system for our containers and now we're going to start work on our action menu. This is a menu that happens when we right click on a slot and we're given the option to either use an item, drop one of them or drop the whole stack on the floor in front of the player. So let's get started and design the widget for our action menu. So for the action menu it's just going to contain three buttons. We're going to have a use, drop one or drop the all drop in the whole stack so let's go ahead and create the ui for this go into our widget editor and we'll call this one the action menu okay so in here we need a canvas panel now the canvas panel is crucial because we need to position the action menu to the slot that we've clicked on and it's a lot easier to do this with a canvas panel. So I'll type that in the wrong bit. Um, so include one of these. Yeah. And also we're going to have a, a background blur. Now this is just a stylistic thing just to help alleviate, uh, alleviate, help levitate that menu off the back of the screen. So it makes it stand out a bit better for the player. So put that in there and we'll make that stretch across the whole entire thing. Uh, we'll set that to a value of uh, let's say three okay so i've got a nice blur there next we're going to have is a vertical box and the vertical box is the menu itself we put that in there and uh sorry not inside the background blur we want it inside the couch panel there so make sure it's not in the background blur because that's also a panel okay so you should be able to see it like this we can click on it and up here um, and inside of here, we're going to have a number of buttons. So let's design one button and then we'll duplicate it across. So we'll bring one in there. Zoom right in on this. Okay. And we're going to go over to uh, the design of the button. Go over to here. It's normal. And I'm going to change the tint of this to be black. Yeah. And we'll change it on hover to be black as well. I'll give it a little bit bright, a little bit lighter than black. We'll go a little bit more gray. There we go. And we'll copy that for rest as well. Yep. Um, yep, that's all we need to do there. Let's put in some uh, text. Inside that button. And we'll just resize it so it fits a bit better. Do uh, um, let's do say fourteen. Okay, and we make that fill up the whole space and make it center aligned. Okay, so there is one button done. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm just actually going to put a padding around this too. Um. Probably let's go for 10. Yeah, okay. And so we probably want to give it a bit more padding around the actual menu itself. Uh, although, actually, no, we'll do that later. Um, let's just change the text here to say use. There you go. And we're going to add a whole padding around this whole button here. We're going to put in a padding of 5 there, just so the buttons stand apart from each other. Okay, so there is our first button. I'm just going to rename it to BTN Use. And I'm going to duplicate that two more times. So once, twice. And we'll rename these ones to say Drop One. And this one will be Drop All. And the vertical box, I'm over here. I'm going to just change the size of this to be, let's say, uh, 170. And size in the Y uh, doesn't really matter too much. We'll do 200. Yep, there you go. That'll do. Okay, so uh, that is our menu set up. Okay, appearance wise. But I'm just going to change its alignment here. Now, the reason why is when we spawn it in, we're removing it. And at the moment, it's referencing itself as the top left. That means when I click, it's going to spawn the menu like it is right now. The mouse here and the menu down there, which is okay, but I would prefer it to be a bit more centered. So I'm going to go over to its alignment 
and we're going to change the alignment here to 0.5 you see it a little bit better there and I'm also going to move it down a little bit too by changing the alignment in the Y here to 0.1 that's going to just shift it down enough so my mouse is by default hovering over use when I click on the button um, I'm going to hit compile and save that oh same let's first of all change the name of these buttons so button drop and I'll just drop all yeah okay so I'm not going bad about the um, coding of this side of things just yet we just want to make it appear where we click so I'm going to go back to my inventory slot and there it is and go to the graph and we want the on preview mouse button down so here we have the check for left mouse button this is when we're doing the dragging part what we do now is on the force of this branch is check to see if it's the right mouse button that's been clicked so I'm just going to duplicate this is right mouse button so this mouse button down input plug back into there but this time we're going to check the right mouse button let's go into a branch like so okay so now we're looking at the right mouse button being clicked and when it is clicked we want to check the action menu uh, is actually on the screen if not we'll remove it but before we do that we need to actually create it so let's create a widget and we'll choose action menu and we're going to plug that into false there a true sorry and we're going to promote that to a variable we'll call this one action menu Okay, and then add that to viewport uh, but as I said if we right click on uh, the same slot or a different slot we don't want it to make another action menu we want it to remove the old one first so we're going to take the action menu here do get and do convert that to a validate get true into there okay and if it's true we'll do remove from parent that removes the old one and then it goes on to do the create it make the new one also if it's not valid we also want it to create a new one as well and that's going to create the widget but now to get into the right location so that we need to tell the action menu uh, where the switch slot it's using and which component it's looking at too so if we go back to our action menu Go to the graph view of this and add two variables. The first variable will be the inventory system that this is being clicked on. Search for inventory system. And we're going to editable and expose on spawn. And make another variable. And this is going to be the index. So which button it knows that you've clicked on. So and again this one wants to be editable and exposed and spawn too if we go back to inventory slot and refresh our action menu see both of those options on there and we've got access to both of those on here so we just do inventory component goes into there and the index will go into there the actual handling of this then is happening on the action menu itself so let's go over to our uh, menu and we're going to go to its construct event and in here we want to get the mouse position in the viewport so when I click we're getting the exact position my mouse is on the viewport screen and then we're going to take our action menu uh, I made it editable hold on vertical box here we'll rename this one um, box action menu and we'll tick is available for that and on a graph i'm going to take that out and i want to change its position in the slot canvas slot um now if you want to know where these values are you just look in the brackets here you can see it's a canvas panel slot for this position so you're going to take this out and do slot as canvas slot that will then allow us to set its position wherever i click I'll save. So let's take a look at that in game. Play. And let's pick up some items. 
go to our menu and then right click on it and there we go i've got my option menus here now if i move my mouse away from it we probably want to make it disappear at the moment we can't get rid of it at all so we're gonna make it auto disappear when our mouse leaves it so let's go back to our action menu and we're going to do mouse leave and if that's true we're going to do remove from parent this is why i changed that alignment there so when my mouse is there it doesn't take a single pixel to knock it off we've got to do some fair movement to get it off of the menu to move it okay um okay so we can hit compile and save that and now i go pick up some stuff as my menu i click ah so you see the other option here is because we've got like a little gap between the buttons i can't move my mouse down so the way around that is we change our action menus vertical box to not allow mouses to go for mouse inputs to go through and so you can see here on visibility for box action menu we've got non-testable self only I'm going to change that to visible. So now, when I click on this, up, click on here, and my mouse can go over it no problem because it sees it as something else. Okay, so I can click on these, and they will do something eventually. If I move my mouse over it, you can see it disappears. And there we go, we've now got a widget showing on our slots. However, we now need to make those buttons actually do something. So in the next episode, we're gonna make the drop one and drop all buttons, allowing us to drop items onto the floor in front of the player. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before everyone else by being a patron from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my Patreon members and YouTube supporters for the continued support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.